In this video, you will see a demonstration of just how easy it is to deploy the Net Backup Cloud Formation template into a new or existing Amazon Virtual Private Cloud environment. To get started, navigate to the veritas.com slash AWS webpage. Once the page is loaded, you will see a launch a test drive link at the very top of the page. By clicking on this link, it will take you to the test drive page where you can take a test drive of various net backup configurations without having to set up the environment for yourself in your own AWS environment. At the bottom of the page is where you will find the link that will allow you to download the JSON file for the template as well as a template instruction guide. Click on the link and save the JSON file to your local machine. Now that we have the template file, let's navigate over to the AWS console and log into our console. And select the region in which we want to deploy this CloudFormation template. Using the context bar, I will launch the CloudFormation service so that I can start to deploy the Net Backup stack. By clicking Create New Stack, I will have the opportunity to point to the JSON file I downloaded earlier from the Veritas website. Once you have uploaded the Net Backup template and clicked Next, you will be presented with a series of drop-downs and text fields that correspond to the parameters needed to deploy and configure the NetBackup instance. Here you can specify if you will be installing NetBackup to a new or existing VPC. You can specify the size of the instance you want to use, as well as set the NetBackup installation volume size. Next, you will specify the proper networking configuration so that NetBackup can access the internal and external networks. To make sure that I can connect to this instance post-deployment, I need to quickly find my IP address of my machine and specify it in the secure IP field. Under Application Parameters, you will specify the NetBackup role you wish to deploy and set the key properties such as the master or media server name, as well as input your NetBackup capacity license key. Finally, you will need to accept the terms and conditions prior to clicking Next. Unless you need to specify options for this instance, you can click Next. The final deployment step is a review of all of the specified settings. Once you're ready, click Create. Depending on the region, the deployment process can take anywhere from 15 to 24 minutes on average to complete. For the sake of time, I'll speed up the deployment process to the very end. Now that the creation process is complete, I can switch over to the EC2 Management Console and connect to the Net Backup stack through the Bastion host. Once I have gone through the process of securing the account credentials, I will log into the Bastion host. It may take a few minutes for Windows to start up, but once the boot process and the login process is complete, you are going to need to remote desktop into the NetBackup instance. To do that, I will jump back to the EC2 console and get the internal IP address of my NetBackup server instance and then generate the password. Switching back to my RDP session, I can log into NetBackup using the established credentials from the EC2 console. Once again, after the login and service startup process completes, I can launch the NetBackup Java console and begin protecting my workloads. With the NetBackup CloudFormation template, we have greatly simplified the process of deploying NetBackup into your AWS environment, and our goal is to continue to provide you with the features and capabilities you need to help your organization's journey to the cloud be simple and painless.